Good morning, everyone. We have the Red Wings hosting the Maple Leafs, and the Maple Leafs are minus 140 on the money line. The Red Wings are plus 118. The over under is six and a half goals. The Maple Leafs laying a goal and a half are plus 162, while the Red Wings getting a goal and a half are minus 195. The Leafs are on a three game winning streak. The Red Wings won the last game that they played. And unfortunately for me, I bet this game last night before I went to bed. And the Red, uh, the Maple Leafs are a much heavier favorite, probably because Austin Matthews wasn't ruled out. But I'm going Toronto with the money line, Toronto laying the goals, and I'm going to go under, and here are the reasons why. Head-to-head -head, Toronto is on a nine-game winning streak against Detroit. Toronto is 9-1 and one against Detroit in their last 10. The favorite is 9-1 and one on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two goals or more, laying a goal and a half, is 8-2. and two. There's only been one one-goal game in their last 10 meetings. The under has hit in their last three. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. And the under six and a half specifically two, three, four, is six and four. Now, the Maple Leafs are 17 and 25 against the spread. The under is 24 and 17 in the games in which they played in. They are 11, 6, and 3 on the road this year. The Red Wings are 21 and 18 against the spread. The under is 21 and 17 in the games in which they played in. They are 10, 8, 1, and 2 at home. Both of these teams trend under, but seemingly the Maple Leafs just own the Red Wings in this battle of the original six. So that's the reason why I went the way that I went. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.